Microsoft's xCloud, which is their cloud streaming service, is still in beta, so it's not even fully rolled out yet, but it's already got a big upgrade on the way. Currently, xCloud runs on Xbox One S consoles and server blades, but next year, they're gonna be upgraded to the Xbox Series X hardware. The upgrade would deliver a big boost to, of course, the CPU and the GPU, and the Xbox Series X is capable of running four Xbox One S game sessions simultaneously, and the built-in encoder is six times faster than the current encoder that Microsoft is using. They're also testing PC server blades, and Microsoft is already experimenting with streaming PC games to xCloud. So this is probably what I'm most excited about because this could potentially open a huge library where you could have PC games finally playable on consoles, which if you've been following me for years, you know this is a thing that I've been talking about. I've been saying, look, Steam Big Picture Mode is a thing. It allows you to play your PC on a TV with your controller. I I've been wanting that to actually come to the consoles. Now, you know, this is streaming, but it's a good start if it allows you to get your library to be bigger. And so you could see PC games finally playable on console and on the flip side Microsoft is also making Xbox games playable through xCloud on PC so the PC would also benefit because now you've got all these Xbox games that you know all the new Xbox games are downloadable and playable on PC but you've got some that were older that aren't and so that could actually bring those games over and you would also gain a big library of Xbox games that are now playable on PC. And by most accounts, even though xCloud is in beta, overall it's gotten pretty high praise with decent streaming quality and low latency for streaming. And while it may not be something that we're all ready to dump our PCs and consoles to play as our primary way of playing, Look, if it works and it allows you to play outside your home and it's just another option, I've always said more options are definitely a win. That means you can go on trips, go to grandma's house, not have to carry around your console or gaming PC, and be able to still play your games, and I think that's cool. And according to the latest reports, xCloud is going to launch with Game Pass later this year. Uh, so looking forward to the final details on how that's going to work. Are they just going to throw it into a regular basic Game Pass or are you going to need Game Pass Ultimate, you know? Um, it would definitely be an excellent value if they just bundle it in with Game Pass and keep the price the same. Of course, who knows if there's going to be anything changing with the price. You would expect that as more games get added to Game Pass and you get more features like being able to stream through xCloud, then you would expect the price to fluctuate. I'm not saying that it's going to happen immediately, but it could happen over time, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was. But, I mean, those are all the details that we're going to get later on. Uh, there's a lot of streaming services out there. None of them have really gained a lot of traction. But, you know, all the talk is Xbox lacks games, but this is actually, ironically, one of the huge advantages that xCloud is going to have is because it's going to be able to deliver a huge number of games all at one time. And so that's going to give them an advantage over other streaming services that are already out there. But either way, it's going to be fun to watch and play. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. Are you looking forward to xCloud? I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Are you listening? Damn.